Hey everyone, and welcome back to Elon Musk Land. While the rest of us aren't used to being complimented by heads of state, Elon Musk, the world's wealthiest man, is not only complimented daily, but is also well known across the world. This is not the case, however, under Joe Biden's new government in the United States. The unexpected occurred in one of Musk's recent space flights, and Joe Biden never remarked on SpaceX's successful trip. Elon seems to be dissatisfied as a result of this. SpaceX has been doing a lot of test flights recently to make space travel a reality rather than simply a pipe dream for so many space enthusiasts. SpaceX recently orbited the planet in a test trip for one of its missions, with four Taurus taking part in the three-day journey. The Inspiration4, one of SpaceX's numerous reusable rockets, was used to finish the mission. This achievement brought about a lot of reactions from all over the world. People of all walks of life came out to let their comments be heard and even got seen on several social media platforms. From the rich, the poor, and even a few billionaires just like Musk, they all came out to congratulate him after this achievement. Even the world's most well-known space company NASA acknowledged the achievement. However, within all these positive comments, one that was most unexpectedly missing was one that caused a lot of questions. In today's video, we're going to be finding out the missing response for the most powerful man on Earth, after he failed to acknowledge the success achieved by Musk. Don't move a muscle, sit back and relax, and enjoy. If you like this type of content, subscribe to the channel and go through our other videos. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and comment and share it. Let's get to the bottom of this and figure out how Elon was humiliated and ruined one of the most powerful men in a social media war. The launch pad at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida was dramatically eliminated against the night sky on launch day, and when the SpaceX rocket's nine engines fired up just after 8pm ET, it flooded the surrounding wetlands with a blaze of light as it soared into the upper atmosphere and made a dramatic, ghostly light show overhead. The capsule carrying the four passengers separated from the rocket after reaching orbital speeds of more than 17,000 miles per hour and proceeded to maneuver successfully into its planned orbit. A billionaire who self-funded the mission, a cancer survivor, a community college teacher, and a Lockheed Martin employee were among the amateur astronauts who strapped into their 13-foot-wide SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule on launch day before their SpaceX rocket roared to life and blasted the capsule into orbit. Three days after launch, the crew stayed on board their capsule for three days, as it traveled through orbit before splashing down off the coast of Florida. The members of the crew on board stayed afloat around the capsule as it circled the Earth once every 90 minutes at speeds of approximately 17,500 miles per hour throughout this time in orbit. This was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and there are probably no words to describe how it felt viewing the panoramic scenes of the blue planet below them. The words are yet to be invented to describe the experience, but you can certainly take a journey and experience it firsthand if you have what it takes, which is most likely going to be in the next SpaceX flying mission to space. SpaceX's most recent flight was the third crewed mission to be completed to orbit the Earth in space from American territory in the last decade. The mission's goal was to demonstrate that SpaceX tourism is no longer a pipe dream, but an achievable reality. Its triumph opened a new chapter for the private space enterprise, as well as all those who want to go to space regularly. The successful mission has even been described as the start of a new era of space exploration, in which ordinary people, rather than government-selected astronauts and the rare, deep-pocketed adventurer, will carry the torch of space exploration. Musk's dream is slowly taking shape and coming true with all these different types of successful missions. And before beginning the nerve-wracking process of re-entering the Earth's atmosphere, the crew was seen viewing movies and sometimes heard replying to SpaceX's mission control inside their completely autonomous ship. The spaceship utilized Earth's dense layer of air to slow itself down, flying at more than 17,000 miles per hour, with the exterior of the vessel hitting temperatures of up to 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit in the process. As it dropped back into the ocean, the Crew Dragon capsule, which is intended to keep cabin temperatures below 85 degrees, employed its heat shield to shelter the crew from the extreme heat and accumulation of plasma. In the live feed, the crew was seen laughing and waving at the live stream cameras after exiting their spaceship after a safe landing, before being carried back to Florida by helicopter. 
Following a successful launch, SpaceX, a commercial space company, received a lot of acclaim from all corners of the world. NASA, the well-known space company from the USA, even declared the flight to be the safest ever. They commented on the vehicle utilized, claiming that it was the safest manned trip ever since humans began exploring space. The SpaceX flight received multiple tweets of congratulations during and after the flight from Bill Nelson, the former senator who Biden appointed as NASA administrator. Congratulations, hashtag Inspiration4. With today's splashdown, you've helped demonstrate that low Earth orbit is open for business, Nelson tweeted. Low Earth orbit is now more accessible for more people to experience the wonders of space, he tweeted last week after liftoff. We look forward to the future, one where NASA is one of many customers in the commercial space market, onward and upward. With over 60 million Twitter followers, it didn't take long for some of his fans to notice that there was no compliments or appreciation from the White House. In one of his numerous followers' tweets, he was asked what he felt about the White House's lack of acknowledgement. Elon was sufficiently irritated by this question, so he did what he does best and reacted to it through his favorite social site. His answer, on the other hand, appeared to lean heavily toward the political side. He is still asleep, he replied to the tweet, a clear reference to Donald Trump's statements. During the campaign, Donald Trump often used this expression, referring to Joe, his presidential candidate opponent, as Sleepy Joe. This created a stir since, in previous interviews, Elon has said that he clearly does not want to get engaged in politics. His sarcastic tweet, on the other hand, implies otherwise. So what exactly is going on with Joe's government and Elon Musk's company? Is there a difference in political opinions between the two of them? However, one of the most eagerly anticipated praises about this great space trip was never given, leaving many people wondering. This is the Joe Biden remark which many awaited, but it was never made. When questioned why Biden hadn't recognized the achievement on Twitter, Musk responded with a sarcastic response in a comment with an awkward question. Recently, Biden introduced a scheme to help the automakers who have their workers organized in unions. On the other hand, Musk has been fighting the United Auto Employees Union, which has so far been unsuccessful in organizing workers at Tesla's facilities. Despite the differences, Biden's administration has benefited Musk's business in several ways. NASA has given SpaceX contracts to ferry supplies to the International Space Station as well as US astronauts. Although several other contracts predate Biden's election, the company SpaceX also received more NASA contracts this year, despite protests from Blue Origin, which also had applied for the job. It was actually given a $2.9 billion NASA contract to develop spacecraft that would put men on the moon for the first time in five decades. Apart from this space-related scenario that created differences between Elon and Biden, there have been a few ways Biden's administration has also benefited and complemented Elon's work. Tesla has reaped significant financial benefits from regulatory tax credits it sold to other manufacturers that were not adhering to stricter emissions regulations. Tesla, which solely sells electric vehicles, has a surplus of credits that may be sold. If the Biden administration follows through on its promise to toughen pollution restrictions, the credits might become more valuable. Tesla would never have made a profit without the proceeds from the sale of those credits until the most recent quarter, and the credits also helped support its early operations while it was still losing money. Tesla has previously profited from $7,500 of tax credit for owners of electric vehicles, allowing it to charge higher prices for the vehicles. Although there would be constraints on the prices of the cars and the buyer's income for it to be claimed, it would not necessarily apply to all Tesla sales. Biden has backed returning a $7,500 tax credit to purchasers of electric cars, regardless of who made them, which would also be beneficial to Tesla. Apart from the main objective of testing the spaceship capabilities and performance, Inspiration4 had another objective, which was to also serve as a fundraiser for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. The fundraiser was created in collaboration with billionaire Jared Isaacman by The Charity, which also serves as a children's hospital as well as a research center for pediatric malignancies and other critical diseases affecting children. Prizes related to the crew's forthcoming voyage into space, as well as a meet and greet package with the four member team, will be auctioned off by St. Jude's to raise more money for the hospital. However, Biden never talked about it, so it also raised up some questions. Time's gonna tell what will follow between Elon and Biden. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap things up for now. I hope to catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.